Hey everybody, welcome to Hello. Brit Pops React. You're me, BP1 and BP2. How do? We're here with some dangerous animals, apparently, uh, from the US. Uh, yes. Let us know from you're from the USA. Um, you can let us know if this if you agree with this list, because uh, we mm. obviously have no idea. No. Um, we're following this up because we put out a 10 things uh, that we don't have that you do in America. Uh, one of the things is that we mentioned was dangerous animals. We said we got one sort of... <laughs> Semi semi venomous snake over semi. here that you know. Uh that's about it. Lots of furry things, um, but not many of them dangerous. Yes, no, exactly. No, absolutely. Um not many dangerous animals, so that's cool. Cool for us anyway. Uh well let's go and look at this. Ten number ten, shall we? Alright, mate. In the room? In the room? <laughs> Three, two, one, back in the room. All right, okay, let's do it. that's good. Let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. Number 10, Arizona Bark Scorpion. This tiny scorpion, scorpion is a surprise no. you don't want to have. While the male is 3.14 inches long and the female is 2.75 inches, it can give you a good scare. Especially at night, since this predator is a great night hunter. If you right, see it during right. the day, it means that you woke it up or accidentally stepped on it so it could bite you to defend itself. It is known to fit in crevices as small as the width of a credit card. Keep in mind that a baby scorpion is more deadly since it doesn't control the amount of injected venom, so its sting can be way more painful. It won't kill you, but it will cause you severe pain, tingling, pain at the sting site, as well as nausea, seizures, or vomiting. Lovely. Dogs, children, and the elderly are more vulnerable, so if you live in the south or want to go visit this summer, then check out this scorpion. Or Number not. 9, okay. Cougar. <laughs> or not. Cougar, the yeah. most fearsome American kitten on this list. The cougar's range spans from Canada to the province of Tierra del Fuego in Argentina and Chile. Cougar, Usually the okay. cougar is pretty cautious and avoids pretty human contact cat. no matter yeah. what, but that doesn't mean that there aren't exceptions for different reasons, like being very hungry. Since 1900, 120 cases of attacks on humans have been approximately reported, 25 of which were fatal. No matter how hard you try to hungry. escape or run, its instinct will be there. The best thing to do is to seem as big as possible, keep eye contact, and slowly back away. Most people can make it retreat by showing a menacing attitude. Remember, respect nature, and it will res respect you back. Right there, number eight. Yeah, so just basic. Well, number two, I mean, we've had two. Scorpion and the Nine, cat. Yep. I mean, you know, surely the cat has got to be less than the scorpion. Because you've got more <laughs> chance of... Like, like treading on one or maybe putting your hand in something and oh it's in there or whatever then you are one of them things coming out at you from nowhere yeah but then obviously if you got sort of mauled by the cougar probably be a bit more than slight nausea and vomiting yeah I suppose unless you've got <laughs> something in there. all right fair enough uh the American bison I mean yeah oh I don't know what big... we're gonna say about that but that is I would not want to no. Yeah. No. Big beast. Yeah, you don't want to be don't want to be dealing with that, do you? Eight American yeah. bison. Commonly called buffalo, it's a huge and heavy beast from North America, mm. with a height ranging from five to six and a half feet and a weight between 930 to 2,200 pounds. Oof. The American bison can run pretty fast. It could even chase you at up to 40 miles per hour if it uh, wanted. Wow. The only place where the bison has lived since going prehistoric times is Yellowstone you know. Park. Several tourists come to this <laughs> national park to take many photos, and especially those popular selfies. This may be a good idea with peaceful animals, but the bison needs its space. So if you're too close, you could get some hits. Ooh, this has happened multiple he was times, get... especially every summer, oh, but luckily wow. these encounters haven't been fatal. If you ever go to Yellowstone, remember it isn't a zoo, but a national park for wildlife. Number seven, American black bear. Yeah, that's this is rough. the most common bear you can find in North America. The American black bear lives in forests, although you can also find it around mountains or swamps. This bear is an opportunistic glutton and usually eats lots of vegetables, insects, roots, berries, fish, and even human Humans. garbage, which oh. is why <laughs> many get killed when they get near camping cabins or motorhomes. 
The attacks are mainly due to territorial issues, but luckily, these usually aren't fatal, although you could get hit and injured. This happens mostly in national parks where there are humans and bears know there's food. So if you go camping, don't feed the bears. This is very, very important. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't feed the bears. Well, I can't say it was on my bucket list, to be fair, to feed a bear. Even if you don't share with anybody, mate, to be fair. No, that's true. No. Um, <laughs> grizzly bear. Now, that mm. is something that you wouldn't want to come across. No. No. When they're a bit Probably upset. a slightly different outcome than the black bear. Yeah, they uh, look a sure. little bit more sort of cuddly. Yeah, they These did. Mm. Yeah. These Number six, grizzly bear. So cuddly. This solitary, large North American bear is a subspecies of the brown bear that only gather in groups during the salmon spawning season. The grizzly bear weighs up to 1,500 pounds, wow. is 3.3 feet tall on its four legs, though it can reach up to 6.8 feet tall yeah, on its hind legs. Yeah. Intimidating, oh. right? Its yeah. claws, larger than the bear from the previous position, make it one of the most dangerous creatures. It's so big that. and heavy that it can't climb trees to escape danger, and the female idea. protects her cubs with her life, so you'd better be careful with her. Yeah. This bear wow. always avoids man, therefore an encounter with this huge animal would likely be accidental. But if you're unlucky yeah, enough man. to bump into one in a forest, be aware that its bite which is 1,160 pounds force per square oh, inch, can that even a... crush a bowling ball. Wow. Now imagine the harm it could cause you. Oh yeah. Number five, Black Widow. Mm. Yeah. This spider is slightly larger than a small paper clip, but deadly as a much larger animal. Atrodectus man. It's greatly feared not only for the iconic Marvel character, but also for its <laughs> venom, which is 15 times more powerful than a rattlesnake. In humans, its bite causes muscle pain, nausea, diaphragm paralysis, and difficulty breathing. But this little spider isn't as lethal as it seems. Tiny. There might be several yeah. victims, but you won't die from its fangs. Just be careful. If a child or an elderly person is the victim, this can be quite serious. Even so, deaths are rather unusual, and this widow will only attack you if you step or sit on her. It's all about defending herself. Yeah, I mean there that's what it is with most of these animals. To be fair, yeah. you know, none of them really want to go out of their way to kill you, or no. even to use their defences against you. Really, is it normally in an accidental, or, like I says, territorial situation? Um, not as hung, not not just for hunger yet. Yet, uh, I mean, we, you know. Uh, it's just that we've encroached on their their living space, haven't we? The more that we've mm. sort of spread out and you know gone gone um, increased our sort of population and everything, we're sort of encroaching on their territory, and and therefore you're you're more likely to find them. But um, those big daddy long legs, you, you don't like them over here, do you, mate? Especially the flying ones. Oh, I don't mind them so much. It's the big, the sort of the huntsmany ones. Oh, the big, okay. The mm. ones that are big that crawl around. They're not so nice. <laughs> But the daddy long, yeah, the daddy long legs, as we call them, the the flying things, they just get in the way, don't they? They do. They're not very bright. They are stupid. Dog likes them. Anyway, <laughs> keep going. One she does kill is her partner in a bloody act after mating. So this little assassin earned her name with honors. There's no need for that, is there? Number four, yeah, not really. Mr. Coral Snake. <laughs> I know a few women. Small like that. and extremely colorful, those beautiful colors mean a lot of venom. Yeah, it means that. This coral yeah, snake yeah. is only about 31 inches long, although some have been reported to reach 48 inches. It's one Plus of the most inches. venomous snakes in North America, as its venom has powerful neurotoxins that can cause great harm in a few hours. Oh. The venom of an eastern coral snake can take time to affect humans, and there's often little pain from its bite. But don't get overconfident, because if you don't see a doctor, you may suffer from an unpleasant experience with symptoms such as blurred vision, difficulty speaking, muscle paralysis, and even respiratory failure in most extreme cases. Bear in mind that a big eastern coral snake can inject 20 milligrams of venom, and worst case scenario, only 4 to 5 milligrams would be enough to have one foot in the grave. If any wow. snake bites you, go see a doctor fast. Be careful about that. 
Cheers, Number mate. three, moose. Cheers for that, yeah. Moose. <laughs> the moose, moose is the largest of all the deer species. I would not have put the this The male can be recognized by its huge oh. antlers, which can spread up to six feet long from end to end. Mm. Its dumb face will try to fool you, but this buddy won't hesitate to attack if disturbed, especially if there's a calf by its side. It's Ooh, even much right. more dangerous than bears because of its temper, hence why in Alaska there are more moose attacks than black bears and grizzlies together. Wow. Although these attacks okay. are rarely fatal, it happens quite often, especially <laughs> during mating season and spring when mothers are protective of their calves. As gotcha. long as you don't provoke it and stay away, nothing will happen. Don't feed it either, as it can come back for more. And if was that the uh, <laughs> is that what you got to do <laughs> when it comes to you? I think that just comes naturally if anything's attacking you, mate. To be fair, <laughs> it's quite interesting. Not, not a lot of these people, obviously, when we talk about defending yourself, mm -hmm. I, I saw a lot of the little clips. I can't say I've saw, but. A lot of them are sort of just sort of defending, but there's no sort of retaliation. Do you know what I mean? So like, don't upset it, him. A quick, don't a quick upset him. Dig. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Just to let us know. Uh, boss. Oh yeah. Yeah. Quick well dig. done, mate. You know what happened when you did that to that kitten that time? Oh, would never do that. <laughs> yes, sort of thing. Um, I think the only thing you got to remember is, as long as you can run faster than the slowest bloke, you're all right. Yeah, I suppose, yes. The herd mentality, yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't find more food, it'll get upset. Just imagine a 1,500-pound beast coming straight to ram you. Better not risk it. Nah. Number two, American alligator. Okay. Yeah, all right. Scaly yeah. and fierce, this animal is native to the southeast of the country, from Texas to North Carolina. The American just alligator look. is an alpha predator among swamps and wetlands that you might encounter during your yeah, vacation in Florida them, and yeah. perhaps New Orleans. I mean, my this golf large animal has an incredible bite force of 13,172 newtons, making it one of the reptiles with the strongest bite. You could cover its jaw with your hand if you want, but I wouldn't recommend doing so, because no. one false move and it could bite you with no mercy. The bite of an American alligator what? can Why lead to a fatal that? infection, even with medical treatment. At least 28 deaths have been reported from this little pal in the United States since the 70s. Well, I'm not surprised so if you do things like that. visit any swamp areas in oh. the southern states. I wonder what will happen if I put my head in here. Number one, Great oh, White Shark. Oh, number one. Really? Great White Shark, yeah, I suppose, yeah. It, well... Yeah. I mean... Uh, all right. I mean, we hear more reports of Australia for shark attacks in America, maybe because they, I don't know, but obviously you've got jaws. But is it what we're noticing on this? Is it? It's not so much about the you know, how many it's caused. It's more yeah. along the lines of how dangerous it is, isn't how it? How severe? Really? Yeah. You know. So, but the moose. I mean, I'm surprised it's right. number three. Well, yeah, but they're a big, you know. But yeah, it's a big, big thing hand to hand, or isn't it? it even accidentally chippy, could kill you. Bit chippy. No rattlers. No, no rattlers. I thought, yeah, I thought they would have been up there. Um, razorbacks, boars, things like that. I thought they'd, they're they're chippy little things as well, aren't they? They got a chip on their shoulder. Them things, wild boars. Yeah. The great white shark. All right. I mean, yeah. All right. See what he has to say about this. But um, you need a bigger boat. You need a bigger boat. Yeah. I mean, where, where are they? California? Where are they? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. This is the most fearsome of all, and just looking at those sharp teeth fills you with horror. B two, with its yes. three hundred teeth as sharp as small swords. It has earned a reputation for having one of the teeth. most terrible bites on the planet. It's like I mean, a world of clean something like that. Even shown That's more than Rob Beckett. A maximum bite force of 18,216 18, newtons. 000. Its teeth are so sharp that it doesn't need to use its full force to tear your skin. Keep in mind that there's always the chance of becoming a snack for this killing machine, and even more if you're in the cold waters of California. Oh, According I was to right. reports, cold this water. is where the attacks most often occur. Yeah. The last fatal case happened in 2019. So now you know, 
If you're on the beach, surfing or diving and you spot one, it's better to take a break, get out of there and wait for this dangerous fish to leave. Especially if you're a seal. Bonus, American Pitbull Terrier. Yes. Bonus. This doggo can be quite friendly and calm. Its population only right. represents 6.5% of the total number of puppies living in the United States. However, you'll be surprised to know that it's statistically responsible for the highest amount of deaths in this top. The bad temper of this domestic animal results from living with rather irresponsible and even criminal owners. Yeah, that's yeah, the problem, isn't deaths it? Deaths caused by the American Pit Bull Terrier between 2005 and 2017 is 284 wow. people. It's unbelievable what poor parenting can do to a dog that should be man's best friend. Yeah. You surely didn't expect to see many of these animals in this top, right? To be honest... Well, you, well some of them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but some of them, I mean, you know, the bears and the, the moose, the bison. It's interesting to know, obviously, like you said, when we looked at last time about the animals, for us... You know, we just don't have any of these types of no. animals, do we, really, that we... Got dogs. Yeah, we've got the dogs. Uh, and mm -hmm. obviously we've got the, the pit bull over here, haven't we? Which yeah, is, yeah, American uh, pit bull. Got one next door to me. Lovely. So, yeah. It's, like I say, it's, it comes down you to bring the them up, right? Indeed, yeah. Um, nothing else, really. I mean, we've got basking sharks in the UK, but they just eat plankton. Yeah. Um, jellyfish. Ooh. They can give you nice. Oh yeah, stuff. they can. Yeah, jellyfish. Yeah. There you go. I forgot about jellyfish. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm sure they get them out there. There's nowhere near the top ten. Uh, um, Portuguese man of wars. Ooh. 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 Do you want to come near that? Yeah, no. that can kill you. Indeed. Um. All right. Well, there you go. Ten dangerous animals in the U.S. What did you think? Uh, if you've watched along with us today, um, does that sound right? Is there any out there that you're thinking? Oh, do you know what? I think I'd put that in there. Uh, I mean, American, but I mean, you know, the one that caught me was the old um, Stingray, Ray Mears, you know. Mm, not you Ray know. Mears, mate. Um, I Irwin. did that last time, didn't I? Or did, did I get you? it the other way around? Anyway, one Steve of them's Irwin. okay, the other one isn't, because he stepped yeah. on something. Yeah, oh, mate. All right, well, Steve. thanks for joining us today at Root Pops React. Make sure you hit the comments uh, and do like the video. Uh, it does right. help us out at the channel. Uh, until tomorrow. It's goodbye from Mr. Tangle. And goodbye from Mr. I don't share my lunch with an old one. Aye. <laughs> Bye. He's a 20th century boy.